An old lady was caught with $41,000 strapped to her body and a news team was robbed in a sketchy neighborhood. I'm not saying there's a connection, I'm just saying I wish there was. Hi folks, welcome to the new show. I'm Ross Everett and here we go again. It's Monday and that can only mean one thing. The weekend is over. You might be saying to yourself, Ross, Monday can mean a lot of things. To which I say, shh, I know. But it sounds more dramatic and I was hoping you wouldn't call me out on that. But now that you have, I'm left with no other option but to show you that Monday means one thing and only one thing as evidenced by what happened over the weekend. Easily the most publicized thing that happened this weekend is that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie did well enough that Hollywood has already decided to make a sequel. Now, I saw the movie, so I'm part of the problem, and if you can handle it, here's my quickie review. Megan Fox is the worst. The first part of the movie is terribly written. The rest of it is relatively enjoyable, and Megan Fox is the worst. But in spite of Megan Fox being the worst, the movie opened to $97.3 million worldwide, giving everyone at Paramount release date Tourette's, and they were like, let's make another June 3rd, 2016. After the weekend, the movie had made $125 million, giving execs more money than they can wear, which is what I assume they do with it. Speaking of wearing money, it turns that the latest trend in old lady fashion is cold hard cash. As a 78 year old woman got caught boarding a plane with $41,000 strapped to her nether bits. That's the sexiest thing a woman could wear. The woman was pulled aside at the Detroit Metropolitan Airport where $41,000 might be enough to buy the Detroit Metropolitan Airport where she was found to have thousands of dollars sewn into her clothes about 20,000 of which was in her girdle. So it looks like the TSA is down to search you, unless it's gross. And, non-shocker alert, the woman was from Florida, where this type of crazy is normal. Case in point, a Florida kid fended off an alligator attack by punching it in the face. He was swimming in a lake in Florida, which was his first mistake, when a gator tried to latch onto his leg. Then, his Florida instincts kicked in, and he did the first thing that came to mind. No, not bath salts, he started throwing punches which startled the gator enough that the kid was able to pry the jaws loose and swim away to help. Who would have ever thought that a gator would try to eat a kid in a lake? That's like someone going into a known bad neighborhood and getting robbed. Which is exactly what happened to a Washington DC news crew who got robbed while trying to do a field report on a new app that alerts people of sketchy neighborhoods. Good news is, the app works. What app is it? Well, in all of their stellar reporting that they did about how they got robbed, they failed to mention the name of the app that works. But I did some digging for you, and there are a few sites that are reporting that the app sounds a lot like Sketch Factor, an app that was started by these white people, one of whom looks like she'd be a better April O'Neil than Megan Fox could ever hope to be in the new Ninja Turtles movie, because, say it with me, Megan Fox is the worst. Everything connects, many things becoming one whole. Life is singular, therefore and forthwith. Everything is one meaning that while today being Monday could mean many things, it is indeed one meaning. Ergo, it's Monday and that can only mean one thing. So there, that is my retort to my projected version of your snarky response. And if your nose isn't bleeding right now, you are not paying attention. So guys, what is your favorite paradox? Fine, I'll give you an easier one. What's the thing that you did over the weekend? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I'll be down there hanging out with you guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. And if you want to see my jaw session with Trisha Hershberger, you can click this annotation or the link down in the description below. I'm Ross Everett, and I nominate Amy Adams to play April O'Neil. Hey Ross, can I borrow five bucks? Oh yeah, I think I have a 20 stone in my underwear somewhere. Oh. <laughs>